Brakta Yahawa Brakata Yahweh Sha Brakta Yahweh Brakata Yahweh Sha Ba Hashem Rakakodash the honors to the apostles the elders salutations to you sincere brothers teaching and truth and sincerity lesson will be entitled let us not sleep as Jonah Lord will you are edified this video was inspired by a spiritual comment Elder Apostle Gabar made going into the account of Jonah. And his YouTube platform is Daily Edification for video entitled The Lot Was Cast and He Was Found to Be at Fault. Right? So the eighth verse Then said they back to the KJV, then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee. For whose cause is this, for whose cause this evil is upon us? What is thine occupation? See, there's that word, occupation, occupata. What keeps you busy? And whence, and whence cometh or comest thou? This is after they woke him up out of a sound sleep. Remember, he's, he was at the bottom of the boat sleeping. Probably some of the best sleep he ever had. While the, at the same time, a storm was raging. Okay, that's the point for this lesson. We can't be sleeping as Jonah, okay, because the day of Yahweh Shah is right around the corner. And best believe a storm is beginning to rage. And that storm, okay, is referring to the Edomites beginning with their nobility. They want to attain what? The NWO. So again, we can't. Be caught sleeping. Okay, we must be watching. And last week I did two videos going into we can't let Yahawashah catch us lacking from a spiritual perspective, not watching. Now we know that the elect will have the Holy Spirit, and by default, they will watch until the day of Yahawashah. Let's go into Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep like Jonah did from a spiritual perspective. Okay. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is close. Our salvation is right around the corner. So therefore, we must wake up out of sleep, right? So when we investigate sleep in the Greek, Strong's G 5258, Hupnos, Hupnos. According to Strong's definitions, you have spiritual terpur. Ter poor, okay, which means what? It means to be sluggish, to be inactive, all right? Now, if you have the ability, all right, to do this work, and if you are called, then your ass needs to be composing videos, as well as being out there on the highways and the byways, and you must be a good brother as well. Okay, just be a good fucking person according to the standard of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? And we compare and contrast that utilizing the scriptures. But again, the focal point for this lesson, okay, we can't be caught lacking. Okay, we must be watching. And therefore, we can't be sleeping. All right, let's go to First Thessalonians chapter. Five. Verse 1 But of the times and the seasons Akium You have no need that I write unto you For yourselves know perfectly That the day of Yahweh So comes as a thief In the night Verse 3 For for when they shall say peace and safety Then sudden destruction Come on them as travail On a woman with child And they shall not escape Verse 4, but you, Akim, are not in darkness that 
that day should overtake you as a thief. Verse 5, you are the sons of light and the sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Verse 6, therefore let us not sleep as do others. So who is sleeping at this time frame? Two-thirds of our people located in America and the non-elect of our people outside of America, right? So we can't be called sleeping, okay? We can't sleep. They're sleeping from a spiritual perspective. They're sleeping. For that day, slack it. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Verse 8. But let us who are of the day be sober, clear-headed, okay? Having spiritual awareness, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. All right? So this was more so a quick hit. Lord, will you edify Shalom?